Talk about unemployment. If you've been getting an extra $600 a week in unemployment, you might be wondering if you'll get the $400 President Trump says his new orders will provide. The plan calls for states to provide some of that money with the rest coming from FEMA. But now Governor Ron DeSantis says it won't work in Florida. On your site's Jocelyn Howard tells us what the governor proposes. The $600 FPUC payments we're familiar with were all federally funded. Now President Trump is saying the states will foot 25% of the bill. But Governor Ron DeSantis says that's just not possible here in Florida. That's not an option for us in Florida because those CARES Act dollars are obligated already. Instead, the governor says he's considering increasing Florida benefits. This is something Floridians have been dying to hear as they've been living off of some of the lowest unemployment payments in the country. We all know 275 is not enough. State Representative Ana Escamani has been advocating four months for benefits to be increased. We know that Floridians are going to need at least $600 a week to survive this. The money to increase Florida benefits would come from a loan from the U.S. Department of Labor. We obviously, this is a tough budget time for us. The potential plan is similar to how Florida reacted during the Great Recession. The state borrowed money from the Department of Labor to pay Floridians unemployment benefits. To replenish these funds down the road, then Governor Rick Scott's administration made it harder for Floridians to receive receive unemployment benefits and reduce their duration. And here we are today, about 2 million Floridians navigating the Florida unemployment maze. Decisions right now are, are band-aids. These are not systematic improvements. Escamani says it's imperative we recover from this correctly so we don't end up in the mess unemployed Floridians have been in for the last five months. But I think if we can do the Department of Labor enhanced benefit through that that um, uh, that loan, we, we would want to do it to, to give people some more relief. Jocelyn Howard, First Coast News, on your side.